East Smith Station. I'm Don Pippins. Here's Ben and Cam with your announcements. Good afternoon, Smith Station. Wear your Panther Pride with school knitwear exclusively for this year only. You can choose a checkered knit board hat, a ski hat, a palm knit hat, and a striped scarf or a striped earband knitted in the school colors. Orders will be taken until November 31st to ensure a mid-January delivery. Congratulations, November Student of the Month for sophomore Johnny Woods and Autumn Eagle Sizer. And for juniors, Jack Johnson and Jamia Sturdivant. And of course, seniors, Trace Matthews and Catherine Fitzwater. That's your Student of the Month for November. I'm Blake Vermillion. Back to you guys. Ms. Monax will be in the lunchroom during all fourth, what, four waves to take pre-orders every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday during November. Your teachers will receive a flyer of prices and pictures, and there are flyers posted throughout the school. Visit the table and see some samples. If you could tell that the page is broken, it's because Ben doesn't know how to read. Classes of 2012, 2013, and 2014, take advantage of this opportunity to wear your Panther pride. Thanks, Ben. The deadline for spring 2012 dual enrollment is Tuesday, January 17th. Please plan ahead for those students needing to take the compass test. All seniors, there are a lot of scholarship opportunities on the scholarship page of panthernews.com. For all other announcements of school news, head over to panthernews.com. Cameron Kide, and apparently this guy can't read, Ben Wallace. There's some new teachers on campus. There's Brooke. Hi, I'm Brooke Yetlin, here with New Faces on Campus. Today I'm going to introduce you to a few new teachers around the school. I'm with Ms. Duncan, who teaches anatomy as well as forensics. Ms. Duncan, what was the last school you taught at? Taught at Robert E. Lee in Montgomery. And why did you come to Smith Station? Uh, ready for a change, and I've heard some good things about Smith Station. So. Um, how do your students react in the classroom? Uh, we've got some good students here. I've got some good students. All right, and do you have any children that um, go to Smith Station schools? I have a son that's at Smith Station Junior High. All right, and how many languages do you speak? Okay, speak two. Understand three, but uh, speak two, so English and German. All right, and um, a lot of people have heard about your accent. Where did you get it from? Um, by default. I grew up in England. I'm from Germany, but I grew up in England, so it's an English accent, but when I speak German, it's a German accent. All right, thank you. I'm with Ms. Tucker, who teaches geometry. Ms. Tucker, how many years have you been teaching? I've been teaching for six years. And what's been the hardest thing to get used to working at Smith Station? The hardest thing is the time change. When my school I taught at last year, we got out at 155. So having to still be teaching at 4 o'clock was a big adjustment to me. Okay, and what's your favorite thing about the city of Smith Station? My favorite thing is the people. I have come across some very nice people who are willing to help and just help you out whenever you need it. Okay, and um, what are some other things you like to do outside of school? I like to spend time with my family and just hang out with them. All right, thank you. I'm with Ms. Chase, who teaches visual arts. Ms. Chase, what other class are you teaching next semester? I will be teaching a three-dimensional art um, class, and we are getting our kiln installed as we speak um, so that we can do pottery, and um, also we'll be doing a um, um, kiln form glass that I just learned about this weekend when I went to the um, Alabama Art Education Association Conference. All right. Well, um, how have your students been um, doing in class? They're doing great. They are making paper mache masks right now, and they are loving it. They're getting to sculpt, and um, up until now, they've been doing a lot of drawing and painting projects, so this is something brand new for them, and I think they're enjoying it. All right, and um, why did you decide to become a teacher? Um, because I wanted to help kids. It became my passion. I um, sold real estate for years and was a freelance artist for years and then had the opportunity to start teaching about four years ago and wish I have been doing it my whole life now. I love my babies. Awesome. Well, um, growing up, would Smith Station be a school you would like to um, go to? Um, absolutely. Um, I've been living in Auburn for six years. That's where my children go, and I can assure you that um, I would not hesitate um, one minute to bring them to Smith Station um, if, if that's something that needed to be done. All right. Well, thank you. As you know, turkey competition is coming to an end. Now here's Deanna with that report. Good afternoon, Smith Station. I'm here with Skylar Gibbs, the Student Council Vice President, and I'm going to ask her a couple of questions about the Turkey of Teacher competition. Um, can you tell us what is the importance of the competition? Um, between the teachers, we're trying to get everyone involved for a good um, cause at Christmas time to um, adopt, basically, children and give them Christmas presents. Um, how long is the competition going to last? Um, it's going to last until like the end of November around Thanksgiving. And how much money do you plan on raising for each child? Um, we are trying to do $100 per child because things are expensive nowadays. And 
how does it make you feel to raise money for a child to have a better Christmas? Um, it's really, it makes me feel really happy that we're having to sacrifice um, to get other people Christmas presents, but in the end, they will be happy at Christmas time too. Thank you. I'm Deanna Selden, and this is Skylar Gibbs, and this is PNN. Here's Brooke, 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 with your weather, weather. Today's high is 81 and the low is 65. It's going to be pretty cloudy today, but in the afternoon, there's a 50% chance of rain. Tomorrow, the high is going to be 78 and the low is going to be 51. There's an 80% chance of rain, so you're probably going to want to bring an umbrella. Brick out and Hey, it's Thanksgiving. What are you thankful for? Good morning, Phoenix. It's Brian Franklin coming at you live from the hallway. Oh, Twitter. I'm thankful for Smith Station, my family, my friends, and my track team. They're helping me do well in Jesus and everything. I'm Chelsea Hughes, and I just want to say I'm thankful for my friends, Smith Station High School, my senior class, and my family. This is Harry Cleveland. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, God, everybody, track team, everybody. My name is Dalton, and I'm thankful for everything that I have in my life to this. Thankful for my family, thankful for God, thankful for pretty much everything. Um, we're thankful for our friends and our family and our teachers. That's about all we're thankful for. <laughs> Have a great day, Smith Station. Dalton Pippins, PNN.